<coughs> hey guys, this is DVD KMP, the best number in the house, and welcome back, welcome back. DVD KMP, the best number in the house, plays Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. In the last episode, which was yesterday, unlike the uh, long awaited break I took to work on Zelda, but you know, either, that's neither here nor there, and I didn't make up the update. Make up. <laughs> I didn't make the update yet as of this posting, but I will try to do it today. Uh, by the time I tried to do it yesterday, which was the 16th of Thursday, of April 2020, it was too late. So, you know, I'll make up one. If not today, I'll make one tomorrow. But either way, I'm going to make two episodes today of this game and get that up uploaded. Um, and then, uh, well, you know... I didn't even bother able to do CT. So I keep trying to see, try, trying to do CT, and I keep not doing it. It's not like I'm avoiding it. I just okay. Let me put it this way to you. All the time that I that I could have been uh, while I was playing Zelda, yeah, uh, I could have even recorded an episode, but I didn't either. So you know. There's that, and, uh, but any time I record, there's not enough room, so, I mean, you know, like, a lot of times, I have to wait, sometimes, otherwise I can't even do a full episode like I want to, even if it's, like, 13 minutes or more, it's like, nope, you ran out of room, and then you can only do a couple of minutes, I don't want to do a couple of minutes, come on, recorder, let me do it, but no, the space says no. So, therefore, again, without the lack, without the filial of, um, you know, I will be doing, a, a, an update is due, I'll probably do at least a couple updates, and save one for later, at another time, actually there's two updates due, <laughs> to be fair, but, either way, one of them's coming up with Zelda, so, you know, whatever. So we'll go ahead and take out these guys. Manticore and Thanatos. There you are. Great. That sure as hell made a lot of sense. Let me just drop the phone. Yeah. Let me just break my device so I can never record again. Yeah, well, I'm not. I try not to do that, but. No promises. Gargoyle, Naga. You know, oddly enough, gargoyles are supposed to be menacing all throughout history, and they are kind of, but there is a, an old, old program that died off a long time ago that was supposed to come back, but they never, ever did. And this is an actual show where uh, the gargoyles are good gargoyles. Even though the, the humans just decided they were going to kill them. 
but they weren't bad gargoyles, you know what I mean? Well, just look it up. I actually liked the show, but it was, it was, uh, pretty good. I must say, in my personal opinion. You know, speaking of these kind of monsters, I actually saw this show that ended called Monsters. I forget the name of the rest of it, but it's it's too weird. It's like basically human and ugh, bug and 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 animal. Oh God, DNA. And it's like, oh my god, what do they do? Do a breeding session? That's just nasty, man. Seriously. I mean, literally. Oh my god. Although, in spite of that, the show was good, though. I have to say. I mean, at least it wasn't none of that forcing in your face like every last one of them was trying to, you know, make out with him or anything. I mean, although they did have... From time to time... Uh, I, would, I would not recommend this show for kids, though. That's an obvious given, in a way, if you can't tell. I mean, you, you know, if you actually checked it out. I, I would have never, never recommended it. Uh, but there are times that they do do that. But, I mean, like, they don't, like, do it all the time throughout the show. It's like, okay, you know. The first time I actually watched the show, I was like, oh, my God, I can't stand no more. So I wound up eventually going back to it, and I finished it off. And just, to get it, you know, because I was like, okay, you know, whatever. <laughs> I gotta like how snakes and gargoyles are weak to wind. <laughs> you wouldn't think the snakes are weak to wind, but what do I know? So what I'm gonna wind up doing here is I'm gonna just like not take out flip these switches. Beholder. Okay. And this is how you get back to the first floor. We're not going to do that because I'm going to have to go all the way up. So, you know. 
What we are going to do is we are going to make, this is probably going to be the most shortest video ever because we're going to at least try and get the guy to go up before I flip switches. Yeah, now you'll work. <clears throat> anyway. Yep. And the reason I'm re re reading a lot of some of these names because I forget them. And, uh, you know. I mean, I forget their names, so, you know. Anyway. That's the best part. That way I don't have to waste a bomb on that guy. And plus, if you use bombs, though, it doesn't... It really... doesn't affect these guys like it should. In other words, in essence, even though it spreads across there, it all it does is just, like, basically, a lot of times, you know, that's why I don't use it, wind up using it. So, it's just not all that kosher. So, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Thanatos here, the last one in the entire place. Alright, got 1,400, which is getting close to there. Okay, so... I'm not mistaken. And the reason is because we're going to... I've, I've heard that you can actually trigger this guy to fight you anyway. Um, but I don't know if that's really possible, to be honest. All the time I've actually played and beaten this game. Yeah, so that's that. I think he's on another floor as well. But... Pretty much, once you trigger him, he's not on all floors. Let's see, what else sort sure other floor he might be on? But... You know, and another thing is, is that a lot of times it happens to be that it's random where this guy is going to be at when you have to face this guy. Once and for all, when it triggers for the actual fight that you actually have to fight him at. Okay, so he's not here on the third floor. So he's probably only going to be a couple of places, so... There's like only two bosses that actually have where they, uh, I never really thought about it before to be honest with you. But yeah, where they have like two instances, like, um, where the ice permit, I believe it is, yeah, matter of fact, even though that in there you don't, you don't actually flip switches to block the guy, you can actually alternately just like not even talk to him. 
or rather the, the uh, after image he has up there, you know. And believe it or not, back in my day, we didn't call it that. I mean, by my back, my day, I mean, like, when I was, like, when this game first came out and everything, yeah, I didn't call it an after image. And that merit may have existed, but it didn't, I didn't know anything about it way back when. But anyway, let's go see if he's up here by any chance. Nope, he's not up here either. I'm trying to make this as long as possible without making it too short because I don't want to make it too short. It doesn't seem like it's fair. Bad enough, I may have to do that when the recorder decides to stop. So, you know. No, he's not there. Okay. He might be on the fifth floor. I think I, I could have sworn we ran across him in one episode another on another floor. I think he's like in two places, but it won't make a difference because uh, once you start flicking it, he'll only be in one spot. Yeah, that chest will come up later. We're not, we can't really worry about it because it's trapped, and the only way we can even get through there is, uh, well, you know, we have to defeat him first anyway to even get up to it, so it doesn't really matter. So. That's the sixth floor. Okay, he's not on the fifth floor. I wonder if he's on the fourth floor. See, pretty much, it doesn't matter whether we flick the switches in this episode or wait till we go to fight him. Because what we're going to wind up doing is we're ultimately fighting the guy anyway. So, I mean, that's all that's pretty much left is flicking the switches. But it, I don't think it really matters which order you do it in. I could be wrong. Uh, to be honest with you. Because, um... Even though I've played this game before and beaten it, I don't really think it does matter. I, well, at least I could never tell. Anyway, that, that's, you know, if it ever matters. To be honest, I don't know um, beyond what I can tell you. So, I mean, as far, especially as far as I've ever played and gotten as far as I've ever done playing this game, especially if you've done seen the playthrough of it, which is on the Black King, you know, you know, this is kind of a fresh playthrough. I'm kind of doing this a little bit differently than I would have done just a bit then. Because I didn't know really anything then at that point. But, you know. Well, well if I did it knew little, say. Alright, so I guess he's only on one floor, and that's the first floor. And that's fine. So then what we want to do, then, is we're going to save here, talk to him. And what it is, is that you could try and force him, ultimately, to be on a random floor. Now, I can't promise you you're going to get him on the seventh floor. Because that's hard as it is to get him up there. Now... If it happens, it happens. I've never ever had it ever happen. And without talking to him, even then, it's still kind of random. Um, it's probably going to wind up choosing it for us. So what we could do is talk to him now and make him, you know... The, yeah, see, like up here? Or you could fight him at up here. And there's a reason why this is here, because you're going to need to come back when you go up there, and there's no other way to get back, pretty much. That's pretty much as well as if you don't have the exit spell. You know. Normally you would do it anyway, but, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and go talk to him right now, after I save again.
That's definitely the fifth floor. Okay. I believe that they reset everything all over again, and we're not going to go do that. Wow, we're like four levels ahead of Kelly here. Which is fine. I didn't really expect to be up higher, but, you know, whatever. Because at this point, we don't really need to be at that point, and we don't really don't need to be leveling up. But if you can't help it, you can't help it. I mean, at least you got some experience out of the way, you know. And it's worth the experience points and everything, and just, yeah, at this point, you don't really need to. But, you know, if you do, you do, you know. It's not a big deal. I'm not going to, like, reset and say, Oh, I knew I shouldn't have gone up to level 35. It's not really overkill or anything. It's just, you know. Plus, it makes enemies harder to, uh, for it to, be, to kill you off in one hit. Because there is death combos. Um, but some, you know, it still happens. It can. Which, in this game, there is no protection against that. There are other games that you can get it in, but this one here has no different protection. Like when they do Doom, sometimes it'll miss. So I believe we saved, right? Wahahaha. <laughs> you can't catch me. I think you can go in here. No, you can't. Okay, never mind. Alright, so what you could do is try flicking the switches as well. And and at least one at a time, see if you can't get him to move, you know. But either way... Let's see where else he's gone to. Wherever he's gone to is where you want to trap him at. It doesn't matter where you trap him at. Because even then, sometimes the game will just randomly force him to a level you probably don't want to fight him on. Uh, like it really matters. Because it doesn't really change anything no matter what level you fight him on. That much I can tell you that. It, it don't matter. It just, you know, it just like... It, but if you want to fight him on a different level because you've never fought him on there, you know you only get one chance to do it. Yeah, I would definitely just, like, keep on dead uh, and make sure you save until he's um, at the level you want him to be at. So, even though the game does kind of still can randomly decide where you do the ultimate face down or showdown with him, you know, I would, I would just, you know, okay, so he's not on the fifth floor. I would definitely go until you, you know. Let's find him again. He might be on the fourth floor. I don't know. Like I said, I can't promise him being up here, but he might be up here. Which would suck if he was up here. Before you started doing... Yeah, no, he's not up here. Okay. So I'm guessing that once you start trapping him, you could get him to come up here if you wanted him to. But I don't know. I've never actually been able to get him to tra get trapped up here. And it would be good for the final showdown. Because it, it makes more sense in that regard. But it, uh, yeah, again, it really doesn't matter. You'll still wind up going up there anyway. Uh, and, but in another sense, it wouldn't make any sense because you still got to go up the deal. In order to do, in order to get up there, in order to do that, you have to face him. So it's quite unfortunate, but I guess he's on the fourth floor. I think, I believe we haven't found the fourth floor yet, to be honest. So, you know. Ah, so he is here. So ultimately, I could fight him here, but again, I had to trap him, so. I'm going to save over a file. Uh, it's alright, I can just save over that one. 
Mwahahaha, <laughs> you can't catch me. See, sometimes it'll go dark anyway. So don't ask me why it does that. So, but either way. Yeah, he's not here, because otherwise it would show him up there. You can already tell when he's when he's in a room. Yeah, apparently he's back to here. Well, either way, I will see you all in the next episode. This has been DVD KMP, the best in the house plays. Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Bye-bye.